Isoquick, so Isoquick Foundation. Um, and we've got heating pipes inside the inside the structure slab. There's all the wee chairs holding the mesh up. This um, heating pipes through it. But um didn't want the heating pipes too deep so they've been attached to the top two layers of mesh but the underside of it which is actually not as hard as I thought. Just bringing them up and cable tying them. But the um, chairs the chairs do get in the way so you've got to pre-plan it so that uh, they don't hit the chairs and get through. Just bending it with hand by hand. I did 3D print this little tool here but it's it's not particularly tight radius so it bends fine and like that seems neat enough. Pretty straight there, doesn't need to be there's the pipes for the soil pipes underfoot heating Manifold's too big. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, ten, ten port. I'm only using one, two, five, six. I'm using six, and one of them is just a. I didn't have a blank in place, so it's just a wee loop there. So I guess this is what you. Yeah, if I knew more what I was doing, I would to get a smaller one. But yeah. um, not using any special routing for the underfloor heating. It's just snaking round, which hopefully that will be okay. I'm not, not. It's not a massive amount of heat needed, so. I can't imagine it being too much of an issue. The cold spots, hot spots, it's going to be quite a low temperature, flow temperature. This is a tricky spot here with the. Um, this is where the bath's going to be. And to here, I have this toilet and a sink. But they are going to be, it's on a concrete floor, so bath is going to be on the concrete floor. I'm not sure how this really changes in this house, but I don't know whether, that is that normal to have a bath that was straight onto the concrete floor, because this exposed concrete floor, it means that the pipes are like quite high, so there's no, it's not like you've got a pipe inside a, a joist, so that it means I'm going to have to recess the concrete to be able to get a connection in there. I don't know whether to have a, a coupler joint sticking out just above the concrete or just leave it as is like this. There's the ducks. Um, DPM folded the corners, cut the corners to do that, don't know if that's a problem. I mean, sitting so high above the ground and all that, all this battery, should it need a DPM? I, I, I wouldn't like to think there's any moisture coming up through that, it's, to have to wick up through all the wee joints. And the joints are cross-lapped, so would that happen? There's the round about it. I don't know what's that. A meter? Less than that. It's less than that. 600 mil or something. All the way around. Here's the insulated heating pipe.
pretty flat. Put the laser on around the outside, about six mil high, maybe it's in some bits, six, eight mil. I just don't know whether it's worth cutting that down with a hot knife or just leaving it as is. I mean, they're going to use a laser to get the concrete level. They probably want to screed to the outside, so you could get it nice and level, and then you know you're going to screed it, it's going to be where it should be. But it's about it. So today, I need to, or by Friday, I need to have all the mesh on, all the pipes tied up. There's two layers of mesh on top of there, the A393, that's 10mm with two, a 200mm space in. And we'll pressure test the, the pipes and I need to put a, a recess in the concrete so a bit of wood or something to give me um, to like a recess of 60mm and about 60 by 130 or something like that for the window, sliding window. All the other windows just sit on the concrete and the doors as well and then do something about that bath.